process been like for you learning nickel this camp? Uh, it's been it's been fun. It's been interesting, you know, uh, coming in with a new defense. Uh, Coach Lynn, he has, he has a lot of good stuff, a lot of top high level of defenses and stuff. So learning nickel has really been a great experience and stuff, and I've been enjoying it a lot. You know, I've been learning corner as well, so it really helps me understand the whole defense and allows me to play fast. Do you feel nickel's your, your best path to the playing time, perhaps? Uh, realistically, uh, I could play anywhere. You know, I could play on the outside, I could play on the inside, and I feel like that versatility is going to help the team a lot. You know, so uh, whichever whichever the team needs more right now, uh, you know, J Rock is. Uh, battling with uh, some injuries and stuff, so uh, I step up at the nickel position, but if I need to move back outside, I could do that as well. Yeah, what like what did the bowl game mean to you to kind of have that moment and really prove yourself? Have you been so patient waiting for that opportunity? Oh, the bowl game, it was great. Um, it was great because we won, you know. I, that was the first thing I won in college, so it was a great experience. Uh, that was like my second college start, too, as well. And uh, really, I've had that confidence in myself uh, throughout the whole time, so I was just glad I was able to display it for everybody to see. Did you use that as an opportunity to show the new uh, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Like yeah, right after that game, because uh, prior to the game we knew uh, it was coming in and stuff. So right after the game, uh, I got to talk to Bell, let him know about it. Uh, it's, it's, it's looking good for our future and stuff, and he was excited about it. And it's been it's been rubbing off and just keep climbing since then. So. What's the biggest difference with this defense with first line? Um, could you ask that again? What, what's the biggest difference with Coach Lynn's defense compared to last year? The scheme. The biggest difference? I mean, in all honesty, it's completely different. You know, it's, it's two different schemes. Um, we go a little bit too high more. We we have a lot of disguises, a lot of a lot of blitzes and stuff. And I feel like that versatility of able to switch it up and keep the offense on their toes is going to be very effective. Like we're not we're not letting them dictate what we're running. We're coming after the offense, and that that aspect makes it easier on the DB. The line gets to get after it. It's just great overall. Coach Lynn's talked about using the spring to develop an identity on defense. What do you feel like the identity is? Well, realistically, we love to get after the ball. You know. We're 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 a close group of people. I feel like like for how many new people came in since I've been here, like this has probably been one of the tightest like spring groups we've had. And so every time we get up to the every time we make a play, we're all excited for each other, all all like you know jubilant and stuff. So attacking the ball has been a real big theme and emphasis for the defense. And I think that's gonna help us move more. Profit one one big uh, emphasis on Dan Lynn's defense when he came to UCLA. It just particularly in the secondary was kind of disguising a lot more coverages. Kobe was just talking about how that has been, you know, implemented in a different part, you know, this spring. Just what what effect do you sense that's that's gonna have, and, and how is that kind of being worked into what you guys plans are right now? Uh, realistically, it's it's a it's a big factor, you know, especially with uh, at the college level because he has an NFL background. So realistically, you're you're playing an NFL level type defense when you have all these uh, coverages and disguises and stuff. And so college quarterbacks is really going to test how good they can process that information and how fast they can react to it. And realistically, not all college quarterbacks are on that level. And so I feel like that's why it's so effective and it's been so good. How would you describe your, how would you describe your college journey up to this point? I've seen a lot of coaches come and go, had to be patient for the opportunities. You know, it's, it's, it's been, there's highs and lows, but you know, that's life. You know, you gotta, you just gotta keep going. Uh, I put my head down every day, just keep grinding, keep grinding it out, working. I know my time will come and when it does, I'll find time. Thank you, Robert.